seismologists use massive earthquakes to unlock secrets of the outer core. This is a Princeton University research article, June 27th. By applying new data and Princeton's supercomputers to the classic question of what lies behind our feet, beneath our feet, that is, Princeton seismologist Jessica Irving and an international team of colleagues have developed a new model for the Earth's outer core, a liquid iron region deep in the Earth. The outer core is churning constantly, sustaining the planet's magnetic field and providing heat to the mantle. Quote, understanding the outer core is crucial for understanding the history of the magnetic field, end quote, said Irving, an assistant professor of geosciences. Her team's work appears today in the journal Science Advances. Quote, the model we have produced, EPOC, EPOC, standing for Elastic Parameters of the Outer Core, is going to be the background model, the one thing that underlies everything else, end quote, said Irving. The researchers describe EPOC as an outer core update of the existing preliminary Earth reference model, PREM, a model of how fundamental Earth properties vary with depth, which was developed almost 40 years ago. The key data in the research came from normal modes, which are standing waves that can be measured after the very largest earthquakes, typically magnitude 7.5 or higher. Unlike the body waves and surface waves that most seismologists study, normal modes are the vibration of the whole Earth at once, which is kind of an amazing thing to think about, Irving said. She said, we could say that the Earth rings like a bell, end quote, and characteristic frequencies. The model, the new model epoch, was first envisioned at a four-week summer science workshop where Irving was housed with fellow seismologist San Kotar at the University of Cambridge and Vedrak Lecky at the University of Maryland College Park. Quote, Prem is a venerable, very simple, well-regulated model, but it cannot represent any small-scale structures, Irving said. Quote, we thought, can we make a simple model with even fewer parameters than Prem that does the job just as well? It turned out we could make a model that does the job much better, end quote. For one, EPOC reduces the need for a complicated little layer with the, at the boundary between the core and the mantle, she said. Researchers in recent decades had found discrepancies between the PREM predicted body wave velocity and the data they were finding, especially at the top of the core. And some had argued that there must be an anonymously slow layer hidden there. They debated how thick it should be. Estimates range from 50 to 300 miles and exactly what it must be composed of. Her team's model does not offer any more specifics than Prem, Irving said, quote, but we suggest that because EPOC fits the data better, maybe you don't need this little layer, end quote. And additionally, it provides information about the material properties of the outer core. The outer core is vitally important to the thermal history of the planet and its magnetic field, said Irving, but, quote, it's not tangible. We can't show you a rock from the outer core, but at the same time, it is such a huge section of our planet. The core has roughly 30% of the mass of the planet in it. The crust is insignificant by comparison. There is so much that we don't understand about the deep earth, and these are not even the complicated properties. We're just looking at the very slowly varying bulk properties, End quote. To create their model, Irving and fellow seismologists pooled their skills. Kotar had experience with equations of state, the physics explaining the connections between temperature, pressure, volume, and other fundamental characteristics. And Lecky was fluent in Bayesian techniques, a probabilistic approach that helped the team sift through countless possible models 
and find the most likely ones. And because of her background with normal mode seismology, Irving knew how to work with the newly updated data set. Quote, so all three of us were seismologists with different specialized skill sets, and we like to have coffee at breakfast together, end quote, Irving said. Quote, it's so much fun doing science with friends, end quote. The researchers fed the equations of state into Princeton's Tiger supercomputer cluster to generate millions of possible models for their outer core. Quote, every six seconds we created a new model, Erin said. Some we rejected because they looked wrong. We have scientific tests for wrong, for models that say things like, quote, the mass of the Earth should be twice what we think it is, end quote. The team then took the best of the models and used them to predict what frequencies the whole Earth would shake at after a massive earthquake. The researchers compared the measurement, measured frequencies of normal modes to the predictions of their mode, models until they found their preferred model. When teaching about normal modes, Irving uses the metaphor of two bells, one of brass and one of steel, both painted white. Quote, if you hit those bells, you'll get different notes out of them, and that will tell you that you have different materials in there, end quote. She said, quote, the exact frequencies, the exact pitch of the earth at that, that the earth at shakes after these very large earthquakes depends on the material properties of the earth. Just like we cannot see through the paint on the bells, we cannot see through the planet, but we can listen for the pitch, the frequencies of these whole earth observations and use them to make inferences about what's going on deep in the earth." End quote. This is from Science Advances Journal, provided by Princeton University. This is on physics.org. 